Okay, I haven't done a sit down video in a while. This should be, should be fun. Hi guys, what's up? It's me, P, and I wanted to make this video for National Coming Out Day. Whether it be you're coming out to your friends and family today, or you're just celebrating the journey that you've gotten on because coming out is a journey and that is what this day is all about. It's about celebrating everyone who thought they were alone. I've been in that position as well because sometimes even though you may hear of other people who are gay or hear of other people's stories, sometimes it feels so out of touch from your own reality. That's actually exactly how I felt. Even though I really had it easy with my friends and my family, everyone was supportive from the get-go, which I know is not the case for so many people. But that is why I'm here to tell all of you that coming out day is here to show you that you're not alone. And it's to celebrate everybody who has gone through the same thing as you. What I find really cool about National Coming Out Day is that everyone does have their own unique story. No one's story is exactly the same. Like, I mean, there's definitely similarities and I've noticed throughout the years when I've become friends with more gay people, lesbians, like queer, bisexual, anyone in the community, we connect a lot of the dots and we're like, oh, that happened to you too? Or you felt that same way? Like, it's very, very comforting. But at the end of the day, Everyone's story is unique and different, and I'm a huge believer in celebrating people's uniqueness. But the cool thing that everyone on National Coming Out Day can relate to is that moment when you realized, okay, this could be me. The reason why I wanted to make this video is one, to say happy National Coming Out Day to all my fellow humans in the LGBTQIA community, but also to touch upon my own coming out journey. It was something that went through different stages in my life. It was never like I just came out one day and that was it and I owned it or I just knew exactly who I was. It was definitely such a process. And it all started around the time when I was 15 up until now. And now I'm 25, just turned 25. So that's a decade of trying to figure out my sexuality, which I'm lucky enough that it, it's early enough and I'm owning myself now and staying true to myself and not holding back and hiding behind a mask. But I sometimes just wish I was more sure of myself even before 25. Whereas I was really scared of my feelings towards women. It's not that I was homophobic, but I think I felt, oh, is this gonna be my life now? And I had so much figuring out to do and I was a teenager, I was, figuring out my sexuality, I was insecure about my friendships, I was insecure about my status in high school, I was insecure about my relationship with my family and my sister and my schoolwork. I don't know, you're just going through so much as a teenager and then you add the sexuality aspect and I was just like, okay, what is happening? Like, what, am, what are these feelings? I came out, um, it was May 2019, I came out as bisexual. And then throughout the year, I was like really, allowing myself to date more women and feel excited about that. And then I was like, am I a lesbian? I was going back and forth for so long, but then trying not to undermine the feelings that I have had for men in the past, because I truly have. And I've come to a point now where I'm out, I'm queer, I'm open. I'm excited for what the future is gonna hold for me. I just really love human connection. At the end of the day, everyone's coming out story is different and happiness is the common theme. Whatever makes you happy, as long as you're not hurting anyone else, just do you. We, we all deserve to be happy and we all deserve to live our truth. I really think as a society, people are becoming more accepting of that and I really, really hope that continues to be the case year after year after year. And it doesn't even have to be a question anymore of who people decide to be, how they identify, and who they decide to be with. Do what your soul wants you to do. My coming out story started out as early as 15. You know, like trying to figure out my feelings for my best friend, who was in my friend group at the time, but also starting to find female public figures very attractive, but trying to decipher if that meant like I wanted to dress like them and I wanted to be like them, or do I have like feelings for them? 
there's an element of being like in control that I feel like I've discovered over maybe more so actually during quarantine um, and spending a lot of time with myself that I feel like I try to control so many aspects of my life. Maybe that was kind of starting to come out when I was younger and I felt like I couldn't really control these feelings that I was having and that really like freaked me out in a way. But when I look back at my coming out journey, there's definitely things that I wish I had tackled on earlier. I wish there was things I was more honest about with the people who I had feelings for. But I also feel like we can't dwell on things that happened to us in the past and why we decided not to do things then and why we maybe do them later. Of course, there was also me being Indian. I never had a problem with thinking my immediate family would ever have an issue with my sexuality. My family has always been so open about being yourself and just being with someone who brings out like the best of you and you bring out the best in them and like it's just a great union. Like it doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman. But I was of course like nervous about it becoming known in like my extended family and I had some reservations because I was like I just don't want anyone to look at me differently. I, I just wanted to be accepted, but I think it came to a point where I was like, even if people aren't gonna accept me for who I am and who I love, it's really, really tough to say, but I wouldn't want those people in my life ultimately at the end of the day, because then you're just gonna be living your, a lie. And what, you're living for someone else? Like, I just don't, I don't agree with that at all. You should be living for yourself and caring for those who give you that love and respect back. I know myself more so than I ever have in a long time and it just like, it feels like a weight is lifted off my shoulders and it feels like I've, it's made my relationships with my friends even closer, it's made my relationship with my family closer because now I just feel like I can just be so authentic to myself and there's no part of me that I'm hiding or no secrets that I'm hiding or going to my like Tumblr page when I was in high school and like getting out all those emotions there. It's like, it's just out in the open now. I mean, it's on the internet now. I guess what I just hope that I can get here is that if there is anyone who, um, you know, it's National Coming Out Day, you are struggling with your sexuality, you're not sure how to come out to your friends, you're not sure how to come out to your family, or you were kind of going through a similar thing as me where you're just trying to figure yourself out and it's all like internal thoughts and maybe you're confused. I just wanted to say that like, my DMs are open. I would love to talk to anyone who's in that boat or maybe your family isn't very accepting. Just know that you do have a community here that is so supportive of you, is gonna look out for you, we're your family and you're not alone. You are not alone. Look, there's a whole day celebrating people's coming out stories and their coming out journeys. Another thing I really did wanna highlight in this video is if you can, showing support to a lot of LGBTQ plus charities. I know National Coming Out Day sometimes isn't always celebrated and there's, a, there's an issue with teen homelessness um, in the LGBT community. So I'm gonna list some of my favorite charities in my description box. If you do have the money, like you can donate to, or you can just like show support by spreading awareness because I think the LGBT community needs it more than ever. And we need to smash that stigma. Truly, we really, really do. Happy coming out day to everyone. Wanted to thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this little sit down video in my new apartment that still clearly has some uh, still has some uh, decorating we gotta do, but um, she's getting there. I will check back in with you guys later.